All right, the Star Wars Outlaws official story trailer. Thoughts at the end. Sorry if it clips. I don't know. My computer doesn't like me for some reason. Let's get into it. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Uh, I think this could be louder. Crimson Dawn. The Pikes and Crimson Dawn? It's a golden age for the under We're going to be fighting Chris. Okay, so this is laying out the factions that we're going to be fighting, obviously. Like with Ghost Recon Wildlands, you had uh, Unidad and Santa Blanca and all that stuff. K Vess is her name. Okay. Slero. This job, it's a death wish. Hi, Han Solo. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. I get a feeling that we're constantly going to be on the run here. Look, don't try anything. I got a whole so, and, and we're wanted by freaking Jabba too. For about as long as I can remember. Oh man. So, and then she, she's getting her shit back from the empire. I really, wait, hold on. I dig the music. Huh, no Boba Fett action? Best is mixed up in something bigger. The outer rim is a dangerous place. Whoa, whoa. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. And a freaking crate dragon. Okay. Okay. Available August 30th. So not too far away. All right. A couple things. A couple things right off the bat is, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, let's see if, if, uh, let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. So the first thing is that. Hey, I hope we can customize it. like this ship. I like the look of this ship infinitely more than the Mantis. Two, right? Two is that I. Oh, there's so there's so much going on here. So much going on here. So I'm comparing this to Ghost Recon Wildlands or the Ghost Recon franchise and the uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla because Assassin's Creed now is is not what it once was all homies who fellow assassin's creed fans who played assassin's creed the original i think to me syndicate was the last time assassin's creed felt like assassin's creed to me i know you had the grappling hook and all that stuff and it was a lot closer to being modern than a lot of other games but still i thoroughly enjoyed syndicate anyway uh the way syndicate and the other assassin's creed games felt to me is their boss fights when you beat the boss it actually showed you the boss dying a cutscene, whatever there was impact with ghost recon it kind of sucked because you killed the big baddie and i'm gonna assume we kill these two because like they're the big baddies or you steal from this guy and dip out because that's 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 the goal you're trying to steal his wealth and buy your own freedom, I guess, with his money. Um, so I want boss battles to actually have impact. I want you to be like, oh, finally took that guy out. 
The big thing I feel like is when you're fighting the bosses in Star Fox 64. Um, those, those after grinding and, and the stress test for so long, after getting that, that music theme and the whole just, huh, you felt like you achieved something. And with recent Ubisoft games, I haven't gotten that. It was just a kill and then it was done. Um, so that's, that's another thing that I, that I am wanting from this game. I know a lot of people are kind of pressed that we're, we're playing as a chickadee. And as long as it's a good character, as long as she's a good character with a good story, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's, it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, we're cutting out her story in the Star Wars universe. Now, yes, I would love to have a story of my own character going through whatever it is, an open world Star Wars game based on a character that I create, have my own, uh, own Star Wars story, the whole nine yards. I would love that. Obviously, that's not what this is. Um, but as long as she's a cool character and the story's good and the gameplay is good, I'm completely fine with it. Um, next thing is this is pretty big because it is the first game, at least like RPG game, whatever you want to call that is not made by EA. To me, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. So we'll see how Ubisoft does. Ubisoft has gotten themselves a reputation. And I know it's just be like Skull and Bones, their most recent release. Good Lord. But obviously this isn't going to be a pirate game. This will, though, to me, be like their first game where you're actually flying and shooting stuff. And we saw the gameplay footage. I wasn't completely sold on that. The story, though, is what I, I really play this for. Like, I'm going to play this for. And the story is interesting. Someone being hunted, needing to go after, like, the guy they're hunting, they're trying to steal, steal from the guy that's hunting them to pay off their debt. That's interesting to me. Um, As far as the release date, that's pretty soon, but pre-order offer, right? As we all know, especially with Ubisoft, this will be available for free, if not crazy discounted, six, seven months from release, whatever. So I don't really see anything. What, what kind of concerns me here is it looks like this is just the base. So I wonder if we're just going to be getting different skills skins or paint schemes for these two things um the other thing that i was wondering was where was it that made me think this that at one point she's kind of running by an imperial shuttle and i'm wondering because in ghost recon you can hop in any car you want almost any plane you want I think any plane, any helicopter, whatever. I'm wondering if that'll be the case in this game. If you can hop in a random ship, if you can hop on a random, like shoot a guy and hop on his speeder and take that speeder GTA style. Yes. Um, but that essentially like in ghost recon, I don't think you could steal a bike and then keep that bike forever. Um, or you, I, 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 I couldn't remember but I think it's right here. Um, I I can't remember. But this shot, gorgeous. Even though, yes, this is a cutscene trailer. This isn't gameplay. So I don't know if we're going to be able to ride a speeder on the water. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm interested in the story. I'm going to need another gameplay trailer. And... Uh, to, to be completely sold Ubisoft. I guess when it comes to Ubisoft, a lot of my opinion on Ubisoft is at least it's not Bethesda. Um, but anyway, that's my thoughts on star Wars outlaws, the official story trailer. If you got thoughts, you're on, let me know down below and I will see you all in the next one.